before I go any further, I mean, we're into those great things about me, but here's what I, I know about leaders. You don't make leaders. For those who want to know about leadership, you don't make leaders. You can write that down. Leaders develop themselves, but they find somebody to develop them. Does that make sense? I can't hear you. Yes? Yes. yes. So first rule, participate in your own rescue. Participate in your own rescue. If I don't, do, you, do I need the mic? Do you guys need me to use the mic? No. Am I okay without the mic? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yes? Because yes. I have a pretty loud voice. just for you guys. I'm much more comfortable. How do I look? Do I look okay? So this is a pair of shoes that is done by my friend Ron Williams, who is actually one of the top 10 designers of women's shoes, who's now doing men's shoes that I'm invested in. And so any ladies who want some shoes, you need to ask me so I can give you a link because they're the bomb shoes. Like, I mean, they're so bomb, I wish I was a woman, but just kidding. <laughs> but they are really extraordinary, um, which we'll get into. The reason this part of it is really about making yourself great. How many people want to be great? Yeah. I mean, extraordinary. Extra. Ridiculously out of control. <laughs> so that's going to start with number one. I want you to just, for the first part of this, I'm going to give you some notes. And what I want you to be thinking about while I'm speaking is what you want. Why are you here? Like, for example, the reason why people don't succeed is because have you ever gone to the store and you needed only two or three things, and you went in to get them, and you walked out with 15. <laughs> That's 90% of the population, because 90% of the population is not, they aren't definitive in what they want. So when it comes to real estate, when it comes to you know, hedge funds, when it comes to investments, when it comes to network marketing, when it comes to any business that you're involved in, the reason why most people don't succeed is predicated on they are not definitive in exactly what their goals are and exactly what they want. So it's two-sided coin. Remember, I teach in twos. But what, before I even get into that part of it, I want to know some of the takeaways. For some of the people that were here earlier today, what did you take away most? There's a lot of information. So in the piece that I did, which was about, what did we talk about, intimate? Yeah. Yeah. Yes? What was the biggest piece that you took away from that? I'd like to hear some different people speak on that. Please stand up. Always brand yourself. Tell them your name. I am Natalie. Uh huh. But don't do that. That's a woman thing. I'm going to train you to be a powerful woman. All right. So say it again. I'm Natalie. Excellent. Don't do this. Okay. <laughs> it's like the cutie. I'm Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> now that's personality, I like that. Uh, excellent. So go ahead now. Um, what I uh, took away the most was being a value and being a valuable person. So not just no matter what you're selling, but selling yourself. And I thought that was great. Thank you, Fido. Um, yeah, and I just think it's really good and you should develop yourself in that way in terms of value. Mm -hmm. So communicate that as E, as if you're actually teaching. It's a good start. Go ahead. Yeah. Now, let's pause right there. Now, I want everybody to get this because we're going to jump right into the fire. Is everybody with me on this? Yes, yes? Yes, yes? yes. yes. I want you to understand the definition of success. There is no, you can write this down. There is no success unless there's a successor. There is no success unless there's a successor. Without there being a Mozart, then came Haydn, then came Beethoven. No matter what business you have, McDonald's, see, that's where if you look at Turning Point, if you've read the book or if you understand anything about business and economics in that way, you have to have a turnkey operation. The one who has the fastest copy machine is going to make the most amount of money, whether it's real estate, it doesn't matter what business you're in, it's a matter of duplication. The key is understanding the power of systems. We'll say systems, for those that don't understand that acronym, which is universally used, System stands for save yourself time, energy, and money. I'll say that again for those who heard it for the first time. System stands for save yourself time, energy, and money. 
The key to understanding systems, whether we're talking about economic systems in the United States, we call it the IRS. If we talk about schools, it's called the school system. If we're talking about the air that you're breathing, we're talking about the ecosystem. Does everybody follow me on that so far? So the key to massive success, abundance, and wealth is learning how to make systems work for you, you not work for systems. So when the body breaks down and you catch a cold, or you catch the flu, or you, you can't pay a bill, or you know you, the overhead, or there's a problem within your family structure, then there's a problem with the system. Is everybody getting that so far? If you look at a computer, it's a system. If you look at, the, at, at, at astronomy, it's a system. I don't care what you're looking at, they're systems. The challenge of those that live in a short, because you know the time you're here on the earth is just a dash, it's a belief of a time. Does that make sense everybody? So the time that you're here, the ones that are able to do extraordinary and max out their human potential are the ones that have learned how to master making systems work for them them not work for systems. The ones that are struggling their whole life, that die on the job, die because of health, die because of economics, die, all these different things. We're talking about finances, we're talking about health, we're talking about mentally, so it's those that lose their minds. So I follow me on that so far. Yeah. All of these different systems, mind, body, soul, and finances, are all systems that end up failing an individual because they fail to learn how to make the system work with them early. The ones to max out human potential and get maximum human equity out of the game are the ones that are living with less stress. Truly the problems that you have financially, the problems that you have economically, the problems you have health-wise, the problems you have spiritually, these are not necessarily problems that are, a pro they're a problem for you because you didn't learn how to maximize them. Now the ultimate killer of our health in today's society, what really kills us, and I say health because financially you can be unhealthy. Mentally, you can be unhealthy. Physically, you can be unhealthy. In relationships, it can be unhealthy. How many people have ever been in an unhealthy relationship? Okay, so there's a myriad of ways of being in an unhealthy state. Is everybody getting that so far? Then in turn, it's a matter of understanding the ones that, the one killer more than anything else, and you can write this down, is called stress. You get stressed when you're unhealthy, when your back is hurting, or when your body is breaking down on you. You get stressed when there's bills that you can't pay, when you can't travel at the level that you want to, you want to travel. I mean, and truly, if you look at it, smile at the person next to you real quick before I let it go down. Just smile at the person next to you. Right, go ahead. If they don't smile back, there's only one of two things going on if they don't smile back. Because the only people I've noticed that really don't smile is either a person who doesn't have any money or a person who's dating somebody who don't have no money. <laughs> we can all agree that money's not everything, but can we agree that it's up there with oxygen? We are at a business summit to understand how to make business work, and different things drive different people, so money is not gonna necessarily drive everybody. Is everybody getting that so far? Yeah. But you aren't working for free. You are gonna go to work and get paid. You are gonna go to your job and say, money's not important to me, so you don't have to pay me for the next three weeks. Yes or yes? Yes. yes? So if it does not generate a profit, it's not a business. You have to learn how to live in a positive format. Everything has to have a positive result. So money, and when I talk about uh, the return, or when I talk about cash or money, I need you to always understand I'm not always talking about money. I'm just using that as a reference point of the result of what you're getting in return for your effort in time. Did that make sense to everybody? There must be a result. So back to, I'll bring it full circle, back to the original state of what we're talking about and what she's sharing and what I'm having her do is that no matter what I do, I need to know that I'm teaching somebody else while I'm doing it. Otherwise, I will be doing it my, the whole time by myself. That's where linear, linear income, linear efforts, everything becomes a stressful situation because you're the only one responsible until you can leverage the systems to work for you. That's why we buy income property, so that it can work for us. Now what's amazing to me is how many people will still rent, and it costs more to rent than it does to own. Does anybody understand that conversation? Oh, yeah. Right? I mean, your rent costs $900, the mortgage is only like $700. <laughs> and you're like, well, you know, I just, you what? What is the difference? I mean, why, why would you learn how to own? Everything about your life is ownership. But we come into this world learning how to give away all of our resources, 
all of our equity, all of our, our, everything that we are, and then when we don't have anything, we want to blame everything else around us. Is anybody getting that so far? Yeah. So the theme of this evening is called gratitude, and the thing about that is, if you want more respect, you have to give more respect. If you want more love, you need to give more love. If you want more money, you're going to have to give more money. Whatever it is, you're going to have to learn how to give before you take. The ones that are constantly looking, it's like it's always eluding you right in front of you. Everything that you're looking for is in plain sight. They said the quickest way and the easiest way to hide somebody from something from someone is to put it right in front of them. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. So what I'm sharing here is I'm tapping into the key to everything that surrounds the success is leadership. So I want you to understand, what is the definition of a, lead, of a leader? Anybody want to give me the definition? Raise your hand if you know the definition of a leader. All these leaders in here, none of y'all know the definition of a severe? <laughs> By all means. Someone who directs the quality of their life. Someone who directs the quality of their life. Simply put, one sentence, anybody else? Joyce, what would you say? A leader can teach others. What were you going to say, Jerry? A leader is who leads by example. Leads by example. Excellent. You're going to say, I come back up to you. Uh -huh. Has a following by volunteering. Has a following by volunteering. None of these are wrong answers, by the way. Creates a vision such that it enrolls the person on the other side. Creates a vision that enrolls the person on the other side. To duplicate themselves. So for those who are like, does anybody want my definition? Yes. yes. Please write it down. The definition of a leader. You know you have a leader on your team when your burden gets lighter. End of story. You can build a team of a thousand people. You can build a team of a hundred thousand people. You can have over a hundred employees. But if you're looking like Moses and you're still doing everything, you have no leader. Leaders are when things get done and you don't have to look for them to get done. Things just happen because leaders come in looking to take the burden off of you. When you have the right marriage and the husband is doing everything, all of a sudden it's like your gas. Imagine being in a, in a marriage and your husband and your gas tank is filled every day when you go to the tank. How many people just like the way that sounds? <laughs> You have the hardest day of your life. There's a bathtub already ran for you. There's a meal waiting for you. Car is already washed. But things are just done. I could use the woman and give you a whole slew of things. But is anybody understanding that? And see, it has to be done unconditionally. It has to be done without being looked for. Because, and you can write this down, when you have expectations of other people, you will always be let down. Mm -hmm. When you have expectations of other people, you will always be let down. I have no expectations of anybody other than myself. And that's not, it's, it's easier said than done because that's a habit, that's a muscle that has to be developed in you. Because we have expectations of people that are in our life. We have expectations of our job. We have expectations, we live in a world of expectations. Is everybody following me on that so far? Okay. But if you become so valuable that the world bows down to you, you don't have to look for the world to do anything for you. So what I'm sharing in this system of what we're doing here is to teach duplication. Not only do I want her to learn, but I want her to be able to share. So if she learned, the takeaway for her was to be a value. I want her to be fully, and this is gonna be in, in what we have in gratitude, write this down, learning how to be fully expressed. One of the cornerstones in my four C's, I can have a conversation, and those that have been around me or been in my course before understand, I can have a conversation with anybody for 15 minutes and tell you every breakdown and every breakthrough in their entire life. That's what I master. Part of that is discernment, the other part of that is intuitiveness, the other side of that is a muscle, and the other side of that is a gift. But a talent means nothing if you don't develop it. Is everybody following me on that so far? Yeah. So how can you do this? Are you a, a soothsayer? Can you read minds? No, it has nothing to do with that. If you read enough books, you can actually become a speed reader. Does that make sense? Yeah. See, even the baby gets it. 
So I teach this system, I'm gonna say it real fast because you guys are recording, and I should also uh, tell you guys, if you ever come to a symposium or a seminar, I know some of it is your first time, don't ever show up ever to a meeting or to a symposium or a seminar where they're experts without a recorder. Something I learned a long time ago from a billionaire, he said, a life that's not worth recording is not worth living. Did I get that? Yeah. A life that is not worth recording. My year of 2016 is called m and and it stands for Moments and Memories. Everything and everybody that I encounter, everyone that's in my space is about creating a memory and a moment. I don't want a run-on sentence or a run-on life or, or occasions. I can remember January 19th sitting with Xavier. I can remember, I mean, you should not just be living for birthdays and holidays. And is everybody following me on that so far? Yeah. And if there's 52 weeks in a year, you should have 52 amazing moments that you can remember from last year at least. You should be able to look for, if you're, if you're, if you're living in the law of expectation of yourself, and you're not relying on something or someone else to bring you happiness and love. You should be able to create an amazing a moment, moment in your life at least once a week. Out of seven days, you can't find one amazing moment last week. But so many people can't even remember where they were two weeks ago on a specific day because their life is just a runoff. All they do is they go to work, they pay their bills, they look for certain things, they, they can look at their calendar and see the appointments. But see, you gotta understand everything about your happiness, everything about your joy, everything about your moments is gonna be you creating. You have to become, people ask me, well, what are you doing exactly? So ask me what I do. What do you do? I do construction. <laughs> yeah. That's what I do. Well, I know, just that's what they say, construction. What do you mean construction? So what do you build? I build people's dreams. That's what I do. And if that sounds too eccentric for you, you're probably not somebody who I should be building for. Because <laughs> some people look at you cross-eyed like, hell, you build dreams. That's exactly what I do. Because the world that everyone lives in, it was somebody else's dream before you got in. Did that make sense here? Yes. So I want you to be fully expressed and express what you learn and share with them so that they fully understand what it meant to you. Now watch this, watch this. No, pause right there, right there, watch this, watch this real quick, watch this, watch this. Your first time here? Okay. What's her name? Ah, you have to make them remember you. Somebody got it. Say it again, introduce yourself and tell them what you learned so that they never forget you.
end up being able to brand yourself, which we'll get into in just a little bit, is a more of a work in process. Mm -hmm. But the main thing that I want you to be able to understand is whenever you're going to invest time, understand this, you can write this down, time is your most valuable commodity you ever have in life. You can't get back yesterday. You can't get back the moment with somebody who passed, but you can't get back two minutes ago. We were already in this time being here, lived in the present, the past, and the future. So you gotta understand, everything that you do with your time is gonna make or break who you are. You gotta learn how to max out your human potential. See, here's the thing, when people actually uh, do what Samin does or does what Sphere or anybody else that is massively successful in any capacity, they learn how to max out their time and be very efficient with their time so that it generates results. Is everybody understanding that so far? And they're constantly in a state of learning. They're constantly looking for new information. They're looking, they're, they're humble enough, no matter how much success, that they never get out of the state of understanding to get to the next level of being of greater service, listen to my words, to be of greater service in the vocation that I've chose, then I need to learn more. I need to help more. And in order to do that, I need not look at what I've accomplished, I need to look at what I am doing to give that of service, being that greater of service in another person, becoming in to completely value in another person's life. Is everybody getting that so far? Mm -hmm. So I actually am asking Natalie and other people because I want to know how effective I was in my first session to understand what you took away from it. So I just want to ask three or four people that were here, please stand up and tell me your takeaway of what you actually got pleased by all the food. So I am and an energy medicine practitioner, and what I took away, I have big dreams, but what I took away from Byron today is that a dream without a deadline is a nightmare. Beautiful, awesome. Yeah. I like it. A dream without a deadline is a nightmare. Next one. Anybody else? Talk to me. There's a few more of you here. You cannot make money with excuses. You That's cannot right. make money with excuses. Yeah. So better, so you cannot make excuses and money at the same time. Outstanding. And what is your name? My name is Lydia. Mm. Lydia. My last name, Obenet. Very weird name. Obenet. <laughs> Don't forget me. Outstanding. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes. Indispensable, and I latched on to that. I have my finger on the pulse of the nation. I can translate thoughts, ideas, feelings, and words, and that makes me indispensable to my clients. Beautiful. Give him a round. <laughs> so I'm going to go through a process. I like either bullet points or I like acronyms. Uh, that's pretty much the world in which I live in, so people can actually remember it. So today's, uh, for those that missed the first part, the first, uh, it's two phases, obviously this is the second phase. The first phase was called intimate. Everything is about being, everything is about intimacy. Everything is about a personal relationship. Everything is about how you relate to other people, how you touch other people, how, you be able, how you're able to move, touch, and inspire other people. How you're able, in fact, I said consistently, and that is if you do not reach the heart, your business will never start. If you do not reach the heart, your business will never start. I know people that are phenomenal as far as presenters. I know people that are phenomenal as far as their product and service. And they want to know why they are not elevating, their money is not growing, why they aren't growing, why they're... I have a guy on my team that I've trained for the last three years. And if you put him up here in front of me, it, it, instead of me, he, it, he can actually do everything that I do. I, I would bet even better than me, kind of hard to believe better than me in the way that he presents the package of all the information that I train. He can finish my sentences before I complete them. So why isn't he where I am or higher? 
because he misses one key element when it comes to massive success. And you can write this word down, it's called connectivity. You have to be able to connect to the persons or persons or audience in which you're talking to. Everything is about being able to relate. Everything is about being able to relate. Understanding the personality that you're talking to, understanding the Achilles heel of somebody that you're talking to, understanding the needs of another person you're speaking with, understanding how to serve that person. When you live in servitude leadership, servitude leadership, meaning you're leading by serving others. Does everybody follow me on that so far? You aren't leading by delegation, you aren't leading by command, you are not leading because you have a title or because of your ego or because of how much money you have or the family you came from or how pretty you are, or what kind of clothes you have. You are leading by the way that you truly are looking to support and serve another human being. And when you can get a team through your leadership that wants to see you elevate, find people that want to celebrate your success not desperate your success. See, the most dangerous person is not the person that carries the picture of haterade. How many people know some people like that? They just carry, they just hate, period. They just, they just don't want to see you succeed. That's not the dangerous person. Because those are the people that you can see. The dangerous people are the ones that are close to you that you can't see, that live in a space of envy. I get that? They act as if they want to see your success, but they quietly, in a poisonous way, want to be you, or be better than you, or take your place, remove you, eliminate you, if possible. I mean, people know a few people like that. And that is one of the most dangerous venoms on the planet. If you don't know thyself, you can't see somebody else. The better you know you, the better you can see somebody else. I, I have some of those in my camps, and I love on them even that much harder so that they can, pop, hoping and praying that they can find themselves and understand there's no way in heaven or hell they'll ever be me because there's only one me. Did that make sense here, Mike? Oh, yes. I live to bring the greatness out of you, to be the greatest you that will ever be on the planet because there's only one of you. That's the name of the game. So in intimate, who wants to break that down? What was the first I? I think that Nick just touched it. Everybody say, what was that word? Indispensable. Say it again. Indispensable. Say it again. Indispensable. indispensable. Oh, it becomes so valuable that you're indispensable. Then we had intimate. You can spell it out on a piece of paper. And the N stands for? Non-negotiable. Say it again. Non-negotiable. Non-negotiable. Those taking notes, then you would have to go back and get the notes on that. It's a non-negotiable attitude. I don't change my attitude as much as I can possibly under the sun humanly do for anything. It's a cell. Your attitude will always dictate your altitude. Then you had T in intimate. What does the T stand for? Timely. Timely. You have to finish all your projects within a timely manner. You need to set your projects, you need to schedule your projects, and you need to finish your projects. You need to put your head down until you complete what you started.